How's it going, y'all? Josh from TOC Supplies. We just wrapped up the C6 training for today. And of course, to my left right here, I have Mr. Ivan LaCroix. How are you doing? That's right, I'm doing well. It looked like everybody had fun. I had fun. Did you have fun, Ivan? Of course. Fantastic. We get to meet 20 new people, have lots of fun. We had people from the US, we had people from Quebec, people from Ontario. Yeah, that's so right. it was a lot of fun. So this is Edna's car. It has 2,000 kilometers on it. Washed it, decontaminated it, and got it ready for polishing. Recently founded DIY and C6 Ceramics. The goal behind DIY and C6 was to bring what Sylvie and I developed in our detailing shops to the general public. All the products, tools, techniques that you see on the DIY videos, basically you're getting the training that we gave to our franchisees and our employees. The Adhesion Promoter Polish, those of you that wanna get your hands on it and give it a try, we'll do that. I'll start it on the hood and then we can go around as a team. If you wanna try it, great. If you don't want to, don't have to, but pay attention, please. Now, those of you that have been following me a while, I've been telling you, never use a dry pad. Always clean your pad and always wipe it off with a damp towel. Well, old dog learns new tricks. Also very important is the tool that we're using. Again, those of you that have been following me know that I like to finish with a rotary. This is not a rotary, it's a DA. For the initial application, I'm putting four small drops. And you'll notice my drops aren't in a line on the outside of the pad. That's a mistake that a lot of people do. If you're using a polish that uses drops, don't put them in the same concentric circle because you end up having just that one concentric circle doing the job. So space it out differently on the pad. From there, we deposit the pad on the surface. And then it's as simple as applying the app. You've got no pressure on the machine, just gliding it across the surface. And I don't add anything to this until I see that it's not leaving anything on the paint. So I don't necessarily use one or two, you know, one drop per panel. It's if there's nothing left on the paint, then I'll add. But if I'm still seeing a little snail trail behind me, I'm good. And then to wipe it off, dry medium nap towel and we're ready to apply the coating. So, if anybody would like to uh, carry on. First step, C6 Adhesion for Motor Polish. Application. We're gonna be putting diamond on this one. What you get in the box is, you get an applicator. You get, of course, the bottle of diamond gloss. You get a big sticker that you can give to the customer, put on your toolbox, whatever. After you've applied 30 of these, you're gonna have so many of these stickers, you wanna throw them away. But give them to the customer. And then this one is actually a clear sticker that goes in the door jam to indicate to the customer that there's C6 on the card. Now, we also, on the professional ones, have this card you give to the customer. Nice gold card that you can inscribe their name. We don't want a thick layer of coating. Thick is not a good idea in coatings. So I'm gonna spread that out as far as I can, I'm gonna get at least half the, half the hood. Now I'm just gonna add two drops on the applicator because it's already primed. So I'm gonna box in and then fill in in a circular motion. Always going past the edge. So we'll wait a few seconds and so now we see it's almost self level. So if it doesn't feel like you're moving liquid around and it's very smooth and easy to remove, first towel and then insurance towel. This is just to make sure we don't have any high spots. Make sure to go past where you applied. And you can do circles, squares, triangles, octagons, whatever geometric shape. Over the next week, it'll get glossier and glossier and glossier. Next. We don't want to pour it on here and we don't want to try to get a drop from here. What we do is put it against, and that's it. Our applicator gets what it needs, the bottle stays dry. Who's next? Drop this on the floor, just so you know, it has, we have this magical trick that we can actually flip it inside out and then use the other side. This is more for the person that doesn't know how to use a ceramic coating on the windshield, meaning that they're still going to, 
throw the wipers on when it starts raining and leave the wipers on till after it stops raining. When someone has a ceramic coating, you give them the instruction that as soon as it starts raining, you put your windshield washers on to wash the traffic film off the windshield. Now your coating is what the water is hitting and it's gonna perform. But if you don't use the windshield washer fluid and you just let the wipers go over that oily surface, you're never gonna get the, the durability and also the performance out of the coating that you're expecting. Do you ever drive this in the rain? Okay. So is this your daily driver or pretty much? Okay. So panel prep, whether we're applying it to the windshield, if we're using panel prep on the paint, the same way. You apply it with one towel and before it dries, you hit it with another towel. And the reason you want to do that before it dries, as opposed to other companies that have told you to just spray it all over the paint and then wipe it off, we're floating the oils to the surface. Once we've floated them to the surface, we're wiping them off. Then the coating itself, shake it up. And we're gonna give a few drops, eight to 10 drops again. And then we're applying it to the windshield. Circular motions, get all the edges get under the wiper blade. Okay, so we'll let that cure. So it's at least 10 minutes and then we just wipe it off with a towel and good to go. One hour before it gets wet. So for the glass coating, if it comes off like a wax that's dusting, you're good. If, you, if it feels like you're having to, or you're moving liquid around, or it's feeling a little greasy, stop. There we go. Yeah. Someone wants to do the other side. all of you for coming. Thank you for allowing us to use your space here at Kodawari Collective for the C6 training. You are now a certified C6 installer. And uh, I just got a few questions to ask you, of course. Um, what was your main favorite part of training? Really just learning everything from Ivan. You know, yes. he is such a, a great communicator. Mm -hmm. um, and he's able to really simplify things. And, um, and that just makes learning a lot more fun. Yeah. Right. Uh, sure. Always encouraging, asking questions, and uh, yeah, that's that's why what I enjoyed the most. Awesome. It looks like you had fun too, man. Um, what was the main takeaway that you got from the training that you were that you probably told yourself, hmm, I this is the first time I learned this, and not anywhere else, but but from Ivan. Yeah, I think it was probably the promoter, the the, oh, the, the, adhesion, the yeah. adhesion promoter that yeah. we're that we're polishing onto the car, mm -hmm. and applying it with the waffle weave and that specific. Uh, rotation that the the posture that we used yeah. right so that, that that was probably the main thing that I learned that was new what was the main attraction for C6 uh, to be honest the C6 probably because of just my introduction to Ivan mm. right um, I, I've learned so much from watching his content and just seeing how he's kind of helping educate and push the industry forward so like whenever he's associated with something then I'm gonna kind of be interested and let my curiosity kind of take me to, to learning more. We got to work on his NSX, by the way, if you all can see that. But uh, now, thank you again. Um, we had fun here at Kodawari. All right, so Mohammed, you came from Jersey. Thanks for coming to Canada. Yes, sir. You just finished your C6 training. And of course, you are now a certified installer. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite part of training? The simpleness of how Ivan explains everything. With C6 ceramics, I've put on a lot of ceramic coatings, but the ceramic coating from C6, let me tell you, it's different. Now, what did you learn uh, during training? Anything that you learned specifically that you did not learn anywhere else? Yeah, so the way he put on the coating for us, he left some uh, high spots for us to see. He also showed us how to put it on trim, how to circular motion is always better than everything else and why it is, and other stuff like that, small, simple stuff that I ain't gonna tell you unless you come to the training. Oh, <laughs> that's right, you gotta come to the next one. Why did you choose C6 as your main ceramic coating? Oh, many, many, many reasons. So the reason I did is because Ivan and C6, 
they're all about saving the customer money and saving the detailer time and being efficient. So everything is just simple. So with that being said as well, I've got to ask, because you've got a lineup of C6 products. Yeah. Which one's your favorite coating? Ooh, that's like asking a parent what's their favorite kid. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, they, that's they right. Each... But you do have a favorite kid. No, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I have two. Uh, <laughs> no, they, they each have their use. Yes. And the use case for C6 Hydro is the daily driver. That is the car that is going to be not parked in a garage. Mm -hmm. It's going to be driven to work every day. Yeah. It gets rained on. It gets snowed on. It might occasionally accidentally go through a car wash. Yeah. That's C6 Hydro. Super hydrophobic, less necessary to wash it because it's yeah. almost self-cleaning then we have diamond gloss what we put on the venue that is the you know the the pride of your the pride and joy of your yeah. fleet of vehicles that's the one that you want to just look at and yeah. stare at and stare into because the paint is so deep like almost like show car status kind yeah of exactly yeah, yeah. Maybe um, Edna can take her Hyundai Menu to a show car. Let's well, talk. she doesn't daily drive it, so you know. Oh, it yeah, is a show yeah. car, so yeah. There you go. There <laughs> yeah. you go. Well, Ivan, I gotta say we had fun, and we're looking forward, of course, to the next few days that we have for training with you, and of course the meet and greet. Yeah. Um, but guys, make sure you tune in because this is not the last time Ivan's gonna visit. We're gonna have more, so we're gonna keep in coordination with Ivan, and make sure you keep to, uh, keep in tune on an Instagram and on our website and all our other social media platforms, so you can attend the next one. All right. Thank you so much, Ivan, for coming and Thank for you, uh, sir. coordinating training. My pleasure. Appreciate it. See you in the See next ya. one.